السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Today I am going to give you guys a piece of advice from Muhammad Mustafa Al Azami. As far as my knowledge is concerned, I think uh, he is the first traditionalist scholar. So traditionalist scholar means um, you can say Islamic scholar who has criticized the western academia for being hyper skeptical and for doing inconsistent textual criticism of Quran. which is sometimes biased also and for their fanciful assumption about Quran and its history. His book the, Quran, the History of the Quranic Text is actually a pioneering work in this field. I wish more and more traditionalist scholars step out and uh, give us the scholarly work about Quran and its history like Muhammad Mustafa al-Azami. And uh, there is another good book in this genre uh, which is um, The Quran and the Orientalist which is written by Muhammad Muhar Ali. And I guess Muhammad Muhar Ali is the only Bangladeshi author who has won the King Faisal Prize which is equivalent to Nobel Prize in Islamic literature. So what I am going to quote in this video is actually not an advice, it's actually a portion of an article of Muhammad Mustafa Al-Azami from the study Quran. But you can use it as an advice. It will help you to remove your doubt about Quran and its preservation which is being consistently and repeatedly inserted and thrusted in your mind by Islamophobes and secular Western scholastic society as well. So let's check it out. Here is the article. It's from the study Quran. It's 19 pages long. It is a called Islamic, the Islamic view of the Quran by Muhammad Mustafa al-Azami. I will quote from the last page of the article. I don't remember from where I have downloaded this article and that's why I cannot give you the link. If, if you're familiar with me you can inbox me and if you don't know me uh, what you can do you can message me in Twitter you can message me and then I will try to give you the link inshallah I will try so let's read from here so let's read from here from 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 the Islamic point of the view, the codification of the Quran has been the object of continuous and meticulous study. The traditional Islamic position is not that the history of the Mus'haf is closed to systematic inquiry, but rather that it has always been subject to such study that the traditional Islamic account of the transmission and recording of the Quran is the one that is best supported by the available evidence. New theories related to the recording and the recording and the transmission of the text often are no more than reinterpretation of historical evidence already known to the Islamic intellectual tradition for a millennium and uh, they are usually based on a set of assumption but to the textual evidence rather than deduced in some systematic way from it. Although contemporary scholars outside of the Islamic context have offered a range of imaginative interpretation to get the real 
to get the real Quran. Those unfamiliar with Islamic intellectual tradition should remember that every last variant or alternate reading used as evidence that the classical Islamic account is inaccurate comes out from the Islamic intellectual tradition itself.